Hello, hello, my name is Zerxie, and welcome to another video. Today we're playing some more Set 10 TFT on the PBE. Um, it, it'll be coming out pretty soon here. Let's do multi-talented. That's a really fun portal. But yeah, it'll be coming out pretty soon here. Uh, it should be coming out on the 21st or the 20th. I don't exactly remember which one it is. But um, stay tuned for that because I'm going to be playing a lot more TFT. And climbing, climbing some ranks, hopefully. Getting back up to Masters. And maybe even... Grandmaster this set, but we will see. We got Training Dummy. Um, this might be able to save us a bit of gold, because um, it'll count as an extra unit, of course, but we will see. Um, having an augment like, let's say, um, good for something might also be good, because that will allow us... Oh, two Sentinel start. That's three Sentinel already. Uh, because... What was I saying? Because um, it will count as a unit, and when it dies... It will drop gold. But that is a lot of Sentinels. I'm hoping to get a... Okay, we could get... Shoot. I can't... Oh, we can grab a Lilia later, I suppose. But we get a four Sentinel one. Which is very good. Obviously. But um, we would need a Backliner as well for that. Because four Sentinel's great. But they don't really have much damage. Cassante is fine, I suppose, but he doesn't provide all that much for us. And Olaf, I'm not really looking at right here. We did get the Lilia. So we should be able to put in four Sentinel when we level up. But other than that, I want a backliner. And something that works in this. A, a true damage, maybe. Um, hmm... We could see. Vi is interesting, but I don't really have other moshers. Like, I don't have other punk units. So I'm not really looking for that right now. Nothing in the shop, so I can't even pivot to it if you know I wanted to. Um, I've, I've just got a good thing going with the game. With what it's given me. Okay. Scapegoat. First to die each player comic gain one gold. Aspiring epitaph. Rich get richer's interesting. Uh, I don't think I want to do... Double the Funk is interesting, but I don't think I want to play it. With Sentinel. Low interest rates interest me. Or pumping up. Look at that, guys. That's four Sentinel in already. Now, we want to play aggressively... Problem is, I don't really have any backliners. Like, I, I guess I have Kale, but I kind of want to keep the Cassantes. So I'm kind of stuck here. This guy might beat me. He's got big gains. We'll see. Maybe they get stuck on my Cassante. We do have four Sentinel in. We will see. If we win here, we obviously level. But with uh, low interest rate, we want to have a, a win streak. And I think I should win because just Cassante is so tanky. I think I will slam a redemption on him. Because that's just a good overall Sentinel item, right? Because it gives health, and what they are lacking is health. So, I mean, it's probably better on Bruisers. But um, HP in general is just good for Sentinels. So that's a that's a good win there. I don't know what I was really afraid about. That wasn't close at all. And we'll trade up the Lilia for the Echo because he's purely better. And then we hopefully get a Backliner unit. Okay, no we don't. We just get more Sentinels, I guess. We could have six Sentinel in. Eventually. Oh, we do have a uh, Kale. We'll trade uh we'll trade you out. We're Okay, there she is. Uh, I thought she disappeared for a second. Um Sojin was interesting, but I'd rather have the tank slam right now. Have an even tank here, front line, you know. Cause um provided she could just like carry, right? Because of how tanky my front line is. Or she should be able to, I hope. But we'll see. Um, now, I really want to be aggressive with my leveling, so hopefully we can level next round as well. And, uh, I don't know if I want to put in 6 Sentinel. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, that's a lot of resist, right? That's a lot of resist. I'd be, I'd be like, dumb not to. 6 Sentinel? I've got all the Sentinels. Like, I, I can't not do that. Level and put in 6 Sentinel. It, it has to be strong. Like, they just have to do enough damage like that. There's no way they don't. I, I know I'm saying this a lot, but I'm just, like, trying to convince myself that that is the play. 
I unfortunately have like 8 gold on my bench here, which I can't really get rid of because I want to play it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think we level and play 6 Sentinel. <laughs> oh my god, dude. 6 Sentinel? Are you serious? Are you crazy? What is this silliness? Hmm. No way we lose, right? I mean, he's got 160 resists. 175 Mordekaiser, 165, 160, 160. Come on, dude. You'd be silly if we lost. The, our training dummy's gonna stay alive because of redemption. It's a five unit win. Wait, we only have five units. I forgot, because we have six Sentinel and I think we had six units, but we don't. Um, we want a hyper level six, hopefully. Um, we will get last pick on here. So we have a sword. We, I think I want to go AD. What works good with Sentinel? A AD backliner. Um, oh, the music just stopped there. That's weird. I'll take the Gragas. I think I get it. That's the best option out of these. Edge of Knights for frontliner. I don't want that. I want a backline carry. Because of all the frontline I have. I'm tempted to go Heartsteel just because I like Heartsteel, but I think it's not the play. Jazz. Big shot. I mean, I guess it's fine for now, right? We have an IE. We can't level and put her in. Okay, I think the play is to play 4 Sentinel this round. So, and then put her. Because we need damage. Right, we can't make Eco, but that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna level next round, maybe anyway. We should have enough gold because of two gold from uh, low interest rates. But luckily, we're not finding the three star. Where is she? Three star Jinx guy. I don't think he'll beat me, even with like all of this. Right? It'd be crazy if he did. I need to move uh, my training dummy, so uh, actual real units get uh, value from redemption. He actually killing a few of my units, which is, it's concerning, but he's level 5 too, right? So, that should be expected. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I could sell, because I want to put in 6 Sentinel. Right, so, I have to just deal with this. Um, do I think I'm going to lose? I think it's iffy with this Jinx guy. And what do I lose? Like, a few eco? Just to confirm my win streak, right? Okay, I'd rather have echo in the redemption spot. I think we're just sit with that. Would I rather have any other backliner? I think a Senna for true damage, and then she gets a true damage bonus. I mean, she's AP. I forgot about that. Whoops. But she should still be better, right? True damage? I don't know. She's a two cost max mana we'll deliberate on that I suppose it's looking a little close which I really don't like redemption was a good slam though I think to keep my team alive well It's not as close as I thought it was, but it was still, like, a little iffy. A little iffy. I'll take a uh, Corky. I, I think I value him more. And I think I eventually want to do Caitlyn. Caitlyn carry. Because I could fit in 8-bit. Right, with uh, Garen. Other Sentinels. Um, Pentakill. We want to try to fit these traits in. We can get two art seal if we get a Felios as well with rapid fire, but I don't think it's really worth it. We get, I mean maybe, because we get true damage as well with a Senna. Four rapid fire, six Sentinel. Maybe. 
do a Blitzcrank uh, Sentinel headliner. I don't know. We'll see. Rod. Rod, rod, rod. Um... I want to keep my win streak, but I also want to level. I don't really care that much about Corky, and I don't really care that much about her. I think I'd rather level. Like, it's two gold that I'm missing out for better shop odds next round, and basically guaranteed chance to win. Because we, we have a full front line here, right? There's no way that we don't win. We're level 7. I don't think we would have lost if we didn't level, but this is a, this is a fight that's a lot closer than like I thought it'd be. Like three units left, that's a little crazy considering we're level seven, right? And I put in a pretty strong unit. I put in a uh, I can't take well my stress. Curse crown. Hear me out. We can't do eight sentinels, so we have to stick with six. But this allows us... Let me sell this. No. This allows us... To... My goodness. Boards all over the place. Um, I wanted to put this on a strong unit, but I don't want to slam it on somebody I'm not going to use. Uh, I think I just put it on Echo for now. Oh, he's got... He's got new recruit. We still beat him, right? Like, no way. We're level 7, so we're essentially like level 9 at this point. Oh, you know what I'd like, actually? A Mord. Mord carry would go crazy here. And then I could put in a bunch of Pentakill. There's a helicopter going overhead, I think. That's interesting. No. No. No, maybe. Actually, no. Yes. Yes, actually, yes. A bit in rapid fire. That makes me happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Riven. Hey, don't get any funny ideas. You better stay on that front line. I'm not I'm not pleased with what's going on here. Okay. These combats are getting way too close, man. I, I want to level but my board isn't strong enough. It is not strong enough at all. I've got a I wouldn't mind a crown guard. Um Gwinsos wouldn't be bad. Crown Guard would give me another Caitlyn. Okay, no Crown Guard. Um, Gwintos is a possible. No, no. It's not more Melicon. Wow, I've got nothing slammable. I think you just take the belt and just slam belt. I don't want to do more Melicon. It, it, it doesn't fit my comp. I already slammed an a, uh, Infinity Edge, which is unfortunate for me. That's something. Hey, right? That's something? That's what I was looking for? Kinda? Okay, now I put in... 
these kind these guys of some kind, right? Dude, dude, my board, dude. Oh, it's a Lux. Don't snipe my Caitlyn. We're in perfect Caitlyn sniping formation. Okay, yeah, ignore my Caitlyn, bro. So he's gonna get a lot of resist, right? He's gonna get a lot of resist, so should we put resist on him? I don't think so. Do we put, like, scaling AP on him? What, what do we put on more? Probably, like, BT. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Crowd Diver. I don't think that's worth it. It's pretty good. Need a backline of some sort. Okay. This is concerning. We, if we have eight units in right now. Somebody else going pentakill. Does not look like it. Which is good for me. So we just keep in six set and I'll try to go maybe five pentakill. I think we should be able to. Because what we care about now is Mord, right? Mord carry. Mord reroll. It's better sentinel. Have I been skipping over the pentakill units, or have I just been missing them? Get some kills, my brother. He's got zero stacks so far. Come on. Do wolves not count? They might not. Okay. We have JG now. I think we just put it on him, maybe, and then a healing on him for a last item, so Hodge or something. Right? That's a pentakill unit. I wish I kept that Viego from earlier now. Sell you, sell you. We want more pentakill. Okay, Karthus. We're putting in... Seven. Okay, I don't think we need to slam this. I think we'll be fine. Tell me that's a kill. Okay, he's got one stack, guys. The AP's gonna go crazy. Oh, that wasn't a kill with face mount, though. But he's got two stacks now, two AP. It's not terrible. And last augment. Let's see. I think we should take return on investment, right? Because we're just going to be rolling at 7 a lot. Because I, I just need to get my board stronger. And now I, now I kind of have to roll. I need one more pentakill unit. An Olaf? That's not stronger. No Olaf. Olaf. That's not an Olaf. We don't need Shred because we have Kale. Oh, this guy's got a Mord. He's got two Mords. That's not fair. That is not fair one bit. Oh, it's a Riven guy. Don't go for my Karthus. 
No, not my Karthus. Oh, come on, Mord. Oh, come on, Mord. I believe in you, my brother. Come on. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, we need to roll for Tactician's Crown as well. We're one off now. Okay, that's a pentakill unit. Oh no, we can't buy him. Um. Um, um, um. I think we have to play this for now. No. Now I don't have AD. There's no AD backliner for pentakill. So I think, as much as it pains me, we have to IE kill for now. And the next round we'll have five pentakill in, so we should stabilize, right? And then hopefully we roll to get uh, a Mordekaiser. Oh, come on. I believe. What's sexy, Scott? Ten? Oh, oh my god. I almost didn't buy him. What do we want here? What do we have? A, <laughs> a belt? Maybe I shouldn't have taken a belt last time. I guess a war mogs on somebody wouldn't be bad, like Echo or Blitzcrank. Okay, we don't have that. Um, Asterix, I don't want. An Eventrout, I kind of don't want. I guess another Redemption, right? Or maybe save it for Hajj. We'll see, I suppose. Again, I'll slam if I have to. If I don't, then I won't. That's good. Uh, and I want to keep rolling to hit my Tactician's Crowns because I'm I'm halfway there. I, it, it, I don't want to roll for like units anymore, which is kind of weird. But I think it's it's worth it enough, right? Redemption. I'll slam if I have to, right? I'll slam if I have to. And who do I want in Redemption? These two are fine. They're my two stars. And Nar's fine right there. Um, Another Edgelord would be interesting. Do I think I want to go 7 Pentakill? Do I think it'd be worth it? Maybe? Maybe. This magic resist is getting reduced, though, right? Yeah, because of, uh... TF. Doesn't matter, though. It's not matter. Mordekaiser is... <laughs> only doing slightly more damage than my two-star, one-item Kale. Whatever, bro. We're not gonna hit this, and I don't care about this. So we're we're just rolling to roll, literally, just rolling to roll. How many are we off? Should be like two, one off. We're literally one off. Okay. Is each time your shop is refreshed when you re-roll your shop? Okay. Okay. So I mean, the best option here was to get a level seven re-roll because I was level seven when this happened. And that's the best way I could keep my streak, was to stay at level 7 and reroll for a 3 cost, and more just happened to be the one I hit. Should be at like 20 stacks now, right? 18! Hey, hey, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. I'm happy with that. Reroll once. Thank you. We could put in... Set for now. It's a mosher. Who's my ideal in? Don't know. Don't really know. 
We do want to level to 8 soon here. So 24 gold. We should get that in maybe 2 rounds. Because our win streak. That's blue buff. Maybe that's Sojin maybe. Okay, that's a lot of things maybe. It's a BT maybe? Would I rather have a BT? 20% Omnivamp or 15% Omnivamp. I think I'll take the, the crit. Right? Take the crit. I'll take a Warmog on somebody and maybe a, a Gargoyles on somebody and then I have a Sojin. So you take Warmogs and then Gargoyles. And I don't need Shred, so I guess you take Sojin for now. And this is my board. And uh, we can maybe move items over the Karthus if we have get, if we get two star, but this is my board as it sits for now. Hey, don't take, don't attack her. She's just a girl. Oh, you piece! You destroyed my shred. We might lose this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, that Ari is doing work on my Mordekaiser, man. We we lost. Oh my god, that's twenty eight HP. He's level seven too. He's not even like level eight. God, Riven is still... Like, there's two Rivens in my shop still, right? Well, I would have had 20 gold if I won there, but I didn't. And people's boards are looking pretty strong now. Maybe more to reroll is, like, bad. Or maybe my items are bad. One of the two. Maybe both. <laughs> we have a little bit of health. AP. And Omni Vamp, right? This shouldn't be terrible. He gets a thousand health shield. Oh, we should have a better in than uh, than Mr. Man here. He's just giving us Mosher, and we don't care about that on Gnar like at all, right? People are hitting their two-star four cost, which is um, concerning because my three-star, uh, sorry, yeah, my three-star three cost is not keeping up. Or maybe he does. Get the shield, get the shield. Oh. Wow, okay, we're at 46 health. It's not looking too good for uh, your boy here. But we have to put in something like that's good. We need backline, desperately. Spellweaver is good for AP. I think we just keep items on Kale right now, right? I think Hyper Pop is okay. I think I'd rather have Bruiser. I know I just said we need a backline, but I think Bruiser is better. I mean, I mean, just it's 100 health for my units that matter and like 20% health for units that don't matter. So that's, it's weird. Dude, my Mordekaiser is being eaten alive. It's okay. Ah, oh, this is scary. Also, it's top four, top three. It's another Chris Crown game. I've got like so big of a team size. Okay, that York would go crazy. I don't know if I need a QSS exactly. Okay, never mind. I don't, <laughs> I don't even have to think about it, I guess. Um, I guess I'll take a Crown Guard, right? I already have Shred. Nothing else I need. I'll put this on Echo. And then we don't want to put Bruiser in, so we want good backline. Uh, some legendary cost would be good. Okay, that's great. Right, right, that's amazing. I think I'd, I'd put him back in, right? Like, I think I'd rather have all these on Blitzcrank because of how much of a better tank he is. And then... Take this. Don't really need that. What is seven pentakill? I need a Yorick. Rather have Executioner, I guess. I 
Oh, it's the Riven guy. Uh oh. Okay, he's not gonna get my shred this time though. He's not gonna get my shred. But his Karthus is better than mine. Uh oh. Come on, Nar. Okay. Nar took him out. Nar Nar's clutch, actually. Take it out of the back line. So real, Nar. Thank you. Um, I don't really care about Crab Diver. I do care about this, though. Okay, we could swap items over to him now. I think that's better. And Executioner is better for him. Um, something you could put in that's good, other than this guy, right? Is there an edgelord? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Oh, that was his ghost. Uh-oh. Maybe we're stronger? He's got some AP because of, uh, of Spellweaver, right? So he should have do some damage. Okay, that's some damage. That is a lot of damage. Okay, good. I think that was a good choice to put the down to Karthus. He gets attack speed because he killed five units and that guy's dead. And now it's just the punk guy. Leveling to nine is never going to happen in this game's timeline, so... Just donkey rolling for something. We did we have spell we had spellweaver in, now we don't. Oh we took it out, right. I think I wanna back in. <laughs> I think about it for two seconds. And hyper pop is also good for Mr. Man here. Do we have more damage or just... I mean, th this is more damage, right? That That is also more damage because he casts more. Screw it, dude. He's, his mana cost is so high. We'll take this. And we would have to trade out Twitch. But it's Executioner, so I don't want to do that. Oh, well. Hyper Pop is good enough, right? That'll give him more attack speed and more mana. And that'll make his Sojins work better. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, my, my, my Mordekaiser, dude! What's happening to him? Maybe my Blitzcrank. Okay, secondary take Blitzcrank. You're gonna come in clutch, right, brother? Cast! Maybe kill him. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I think I'm dead here. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I don't have a... A man. I don't have a man. No, I didn't mean to do that. I need an Olaf. We can't hit seven pentakill. I think I do this. Move my Blitzkrank over there so he tanks more. So my board can, like, live. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, this guy's board punks board strong. Like, he's hit all of his three stars. Oh my god, my, my, my guy was just CC'd forever. Oh, man. I think maybe if I put my... Oh, we're dead. Okay. It's a second place. Maybe if I put my Karthus on the other side, I would have won. But... You live and you learn. It was a fun game. Um, crazy front line, but not crazy enough, I suppose. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.